This is Twit. Hi, Leo. Welcome. Thank you. So, um, so I've been an AOL, <laughs> yes, a blast from the past, an AOL customer uh, on email since about 1995. Yeah. And um, we have a Mac now. We're using the, the Mac um, OS email client. And I'm trying to figure out how to back up all of my old emails in the, you know, likely event that, uh, uh, you know, we lose data. So yeah, let's move you off of AOL pronto. <laughs> AOL's been sold and bought and bought and sold, and <laughs> I don't even know who owns them these days. But, uh, yeah, it, it'd probably be wise to, to go somewhere else. I think almost everybody now seems like has a Gmail account, the Google Mail. I'm, st I'm not even a f quite a fan of that. It's free. Uh, you know, it's ad supported, but it, the, the ads are not intrusive and I, you know, it's very good email, but I kind of like the idea of, of going to a company that does email and, and paying them just cause I think email is important. And so I want it to be treated as more important. So I don't have to run away every time they decide to change their business model. Uh, nevertheless, uh, how do we get our data off of AOL, our email off of AOL? Micah Sargent. <laughs> yes, this is actually quite a simple process because you mentioned that you're using the Mail app on your Mac, and the Mail app makes it very easy to export and therefore archive. Because the it's mail downloading it as you check your mail. Exactly yeah. every time. So it's it's a very simple process. We'll of course have a link for you uh, in the notes. But essentially, on your Mac, you just choose that AOL uh, account that you have. You choose File and you choose Export Mailbox. And then you're good to go. Then it'll be saved wherever you want to put it. You know, if you've got Dropbox storage or iDrive storage or whatever storage uh, you use, it'll be there and you can always open it in the mail app again anytime you need to. And I actually use this a lot with, uh, with old Gmail accounts from when I've had previous jobs. I just pop open that mailbox account. I can search through the mail, find what I was looking for, close it again, and put it back on the external storage that I want. So... It's a pretty simple thing to do, luckily. That's because you're using a mail client. And so a mail client like Apple's Mail or uh, uh, Outlook on the PC downloads that mail, even with from an IMAP server, uh, which, which AOL is now, still downloads a copy of that mail and you can save it out. If you weren't, if you're just using the web interface to AOL or the even worse, the software interface to AOL, it's a little more manual, but you can individually save messages and you probably can select, you know, 100 messages and save them out. Um, but that's obviously not the ideal way to do it. In fact, if if that's the only way you're using AOL Mail is through their client, it'd probably be worth getting a mail client like Apple Mail or Outlook uh, or Live Mail if you're on Windows and downloading that email and then saving it from there. Are you going to move, or David, or are you going to stay with AOL? Um, we're... Uh my wife just gave me a note. So how, how easy is it to end off of and get off of AOL? Well, this is the hard thing because it's a change of address, right? So you've everybody, sure. you know, for the last 100 years has known yeah. that your address is at AOL.com. Uh, and th this is another problem. And I, you can solve this problem now for all time by getting a domain. Uh, they're cheap, about 10 bucks a year. The family name, uh, your name, whatever you want. If if your wife's using it too, maybe get the family name dot com or the family name. I have actually the family name dot email, uh, which means it can go to me, my wife, my kids, whoever wants to use it. Uh, anybody with the same last name. So once you register that, then you can get an e you can have it just forward to Gmail if you want to use Gmail, or you can get email service and forward to that. The nice thing about doing that is it's being forwarded. And if at some point you decide to get off Gmail or get off that service, you can go to another one. And you, all you do is you change the forwarding. So the forwarding is kind of permanent. For now, uh, create a new email account and then start down. This is another way, by the way, to get the AOL mail. If you set up a Google uh, mail account, a Gmail account, you can have it gather your email from AOL into that Google inbox. In fact, you can have it continue to do that. Every day or hour, it can check and see if there's any mail. Put it in your inbox. So now you can you can maintain that AOL address, but start giving out a new Gmail address. And I'm using Gmail as an example. You could do this with almost any service. Giving out that Gmail address and eventually phase out that AOL address. Maybe put it in your signature. Hey, I don't use the AOL address anymore. Please update your contact 
uh, information for me to this new address. Doing it. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Doing it in Gmail is potentially problematic because 10 years from now, you're going to call me and saying, well, Google went out of business. So now what do I do? <laughs> uh, I don't think that's real likely. But, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think so either. But it's always a problem. That's why I don't use, I have a Gmail account. Uh, I have Laporte at Gmail, of all things. But I don't use it uh, directly. For a long time, I just, I used, uh, you know, a, a custom domain name and forwarded it to Gmail. Now I forward it to a, a company that does email called Fastmail. It's my preferred way of doing email. Uh, and they handle it. Uh, so the forwarding is nice because you can move around. If I decided tomorrow, ah, I don't want to pay for Fastmail anymore. I'm going to go to Yahoo. I could just change the forwarding. And it would automatically forward there. Uh, still, you can still set up whatever. In fact, it might be easiest to do it with Gmail right now anyway that it gathers all your email from AOL. So it's, you have one inbox that's got everything in it. Uh, and then if you want, you can create a domain name that reflects to Gmail for now. 8888-ASK-LEO. I, I say it every time. I think email is important, right? Maybe we should pay more attention to who we get it from. Don't get it from your internet service provider. You know, Google's okay. Gmail's Okay. Actually, uh, if of all the free providers, that's probably the best. But, but a lot of us think, you know, it's worth 10, 15, 20 bucks a year. It's not expensive to get an email account with a provider that just does email. I just, it's important, right? You wouldn't, you, you know, you wouldn't you have a cell phone number that was just a free number that you got from Google. You'd take that more seriously, I think.